Here I've got two new saws from Veritas. They're gents hand saws in both a rip and a cross cut. Now I've got a special guest coming today to help me take a look at using these saws. But before we do that, let's take a closer look at these saws and some of the features. Now these saws are a gent style saw, which means the handle comes straight off the back uh, as opposed to a pistol grip style of saw. The handles are uh, Bubinga and they are replaceable so you can make your own handle. Uh, I find them, found it to be very comfortable in terms of size and especially the shape. Uh, there's a good way of gripping right here, extending forefinger, gripping right here in this, uh, in this section. Very comfortable, but of course everybody's hands a little bit different. So it's pretty easy to turn your own handle uh, and replace it here uh, with the screw at the back, which is a, on a threaded rod. The back of these is a molded, um, stainless steel uh, glass polymer resin uh, for this back rather than uh, maybe a brass back, which might be typical. Uh, it has a little bit of flex to it um, you know, as compared to a brass back, but I haven't found that to be uh, an issue at all uh, in actual operation. The blade themselves uh, is a great uh, metal, uh, cuts really well, uh, nice and shiny as well for uh, seeing your work and lining up your work. And of course it comes filed in both a rip and a cross cut version. The rip is filed 20 teeth per inch with a 14 uh, degree rake and the cross cut has a 22 uh, teeth per inch with a 15 uh, degree rake. The uh, metal, the uh, blade itself is very thin, 0 0.015 inches, so pretty much uh, as thin as they come. Uh, and so it's good for smaller stock. The instructions stay up to about half inch or thinner uh, material. Uh, you can use it with slightly thicker, up to three quarter material. Works pretty well, uh, but you're definitely, because given the number of teeth per inch, it leaves a nice um, surface but you'll want to be using smaller stock uh, with these saws. So let's go ahead and put these guys into action. So this is Steve Branham. And if you don't know Steve, he's from Close Grain. Closegrain.com has an awesome blog. You should definitely check it out. And the reason I asked Steve here today to help us uh, take a look at these saws is because Steve works all with hand tools, hand tools only. So I thought he'd be perfect uh, to come and take a look at these saws with us. So Steve, welcome to the shop. Thanks a lot, Mike. And uh, first, just give me an overview. You've been using these now for a couple of weeks, just checking them out. So why don't you first just give us an overview. What did you like about these saws? All right, what, what I like about these is, in the past, I've, I've never really used a high quality gentleman's type saw. The only ones I used were pretty cheap ones. And you know they had a much thicker saw plate, much coarser teeth, and did not really handle very well. Mm -hmm. These with the much thinner plate and the much finer teeth handled just as well as any pistol grip handled saw. Cool. Now the instructions say that they're intended for stock that's a half inch or less. Okay. And I tried it on a variety of different pieces, um, different species, mm -hmm. maple yeah. and oak and pine and, and cherry and, and various thicknesses. And yeah. I really found that, you know, just with a little bit of practice, just getting used to the handle, you can very quickly make a nice, clean, accurate cut. Cool. So how do these compare, uh, this cross cut and rip saw compared with the ones that you use day in and day out in terms of, you know, the blade quality, thickness, teeth, stuff like that? How would you compare that? Yeah, the, these compare very well. The, you know, the blade is a good quality, good quality metal. Um, they, they do mention about how the, the stiffener on the back, you know, keeps, keeps mm -hmm. the blade nice and rigid, even though it is such a small and lightweight blade. Yep. And that works just fine. And as long as you've got stock, you know, that's not going to be, be too heavy working with this. Yeah. They really do an excellent job. Cool. All right, great. Well, why don't we go ahead and grab a couple chunks of wood and make some cuts? All right, sounds good. So I've got the cross cut saw here and a piece of thin scrap. So what I'm going to do is just take a sample cross cut here. And you can see that I extend my, my forefinger just like you would do with a pistol grip saw. You want to take kind of a you know, a reasonably tight grip around here so that the handle doesn't slide in and out of your hand. Just let the teeth do the work. And 
And so there you can see you get a nice clean cut off the end. So what I've done here to get a little bit of rip practice is I've marked a bunch of lines on the end of a piece of, of stock. And I'm just going to take a bunch of simple cuts. And the purpose of this is just getting used to a new saw. Every time you've got a new saw, it, it's going to handle a little differently. And it's worth doing that just to develop the control. So once I've got the lines marked, you know, just start cutting. Make sure I have good clearance on my arm so I'm not bumping into myself. And just start cutting. And even if the first couple of cuts aren't very good, by the time I get to the end of this, I should see some definite improvement. To guide the cut here, all I have to do is set the saw on my line to the one side of the line, however I want to make the cut, put my thumb up against it, just kind of rest my thumbnail against the saw, and start cutting. Once I've got some good progress in it, I can't really adjust the cut any further. It's, it's safe to take my hand away, and I can continue on down, and just keep repeating that. And you can do this for straight cuts, for angle cuts for dovetails. however many cuts you feel you need until you've got it down. And then once you've got it at this point, you can turn it around and with the cross cut saw do the same thing on the end. And you can see you've got a fairly clean cut in there. Now once you've got one set of lines cut, if you feel like you need some more practice, just pop it out, cut off the whole set, mark another set of lines, and cut another set. You know, do that three or four times, and by the time you're done, you'll have gotten the, the real control of the saw down. Steve, that was awesome. Thanks for the demonstrations of that. What, um, what question I had is these are obviously a, a gent saw. So you got the handle coming straight off of the saw there. What's the difference that you've noticed between that style of saw than uh, the pistol grip type of saw? Yeah, well, well the two main things I noticed are first of all because because you're holding your hand straight like this, this works a little better on a lower work level than a higher work okay. level. Whereas a pistol grip saw you kind of want a higher work level. Okay. So, you know, depending on what so, how tall your bench is or if you've got some sort of mini bench on top, right. you know, that may make right. a difference. Okay. The other thing I noticed is that when, when I hold a, a, a pistol grip saw, I tend to have a pretty loose grip so that my hand is almost kind of moving back and forth on the handle. Right. And, right. you know, it's, the handle is, is trapped in my hand and so I can, right. I can move back and forth. Right. With this, you do have to have a little more positive grip, uh, make sure that you know, you're gripping around this area here right. so that it doesn't slide in and out of your hand. Because yeah. that, that was the one thing that I, I, I did find that I had to, to get used to was that my hand would kind of slide off the handle. A little handle. bit tighter grip. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But other than that, you know, it, it handles pretty much the same. The, the general balance and feel of the saw yeah. is pretty much the same. It's not as heavy as a brass-backed back saw. Yep. So where with a, with a heavier saw, you might rely a little bit more on the weight of the saw okay. to, to do the work for you. Here, you know, as, right. as long as you're just, you're just, you know, giving good, smooth, controlled motion, you know, you let the teeth do the work. Cool. You, you know, use the full length of the saw and... The, the teeth really do it a nice, fast job. Cool. Awesome. Well, Steve, thanks a lot. Definitely appreciate you checking out these saws, coming right. by, and uh, giving us your thoughts. Closegrain.com, Steve Branham, uh, hand tool only. So he's given a great uh, use of these saws. He's been using them for a couple of weeks, checking them out. Um, and they're a really nice saw, as you've seen today. <music>